Hello, my soul tribe. Spiritual warriors. Uh, welcome to my channel. Spiritual Goddess 1111. Um, for another informative episode of a reading. We'll do a reading. Do a little bit different. My camera's at a different angle. I had a request that I show the cards while I'm reading. Uh, I guess somebody, some, it may make them feel a little more comfortable, whatever the case is. I have prayed over the cards. I've shuffled all the cards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of shift my, my camera over. And we'll begin the reading. Um, and... I'm not changing it. I mean, I am changing the angle of the camera and I'm going to show the cards. And I'm, I'm, this is maybe just a one-time thing. Uh, I'm, it is what it is. I, uh, I try to accommodate everybody. I try to move a question and answer portion around. Now it's on the back end of the video. So, you know, and I know some people say, well, you, you shouldn't change this. You shouldn't change that too. But I want everybody to watch. And I want everybody to be happy with my reading. And I do not want people to make an assumptions. That is a, a big thing with me. I do not want, with other readers too. This is not just me. This is other readers. We... We don't want anybody to believe that we manipulate a reading. This, I do not manipulate readings. The Holy Spirit gives me the message I deliver to you. Sometimes it's a repetitive message. Sometimes. <laughs> Actually, it's been a lot of times here lately, but it, you know, we'll go with it until the message changes. Um, I will do an, uh, uh, I have a dream interpretation. If somebody sent me a dream, and they asked me to interpret it, I'll do it at the end of the video. So, with that being said, let's go into our reading. And I'll just shift the, the phone over, my camera over just a little bit. So you can see this instead of my pretty face. Hot dog it. We'll, we'll, we'll start off with... Um, and you probably won't be able to see it because it's so far... I'm using my feelings, Oracle. Uh, it's a very, very neat deck. Uh, but the first card out, and this is what the, let's see, this is what the, if you want to buy them, this is what the box looks like. Very neat deck, very beautiful cards. I like them because they're more, there's no writing on them that you just, you, 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 you just have to use your intuition, the, you know, you have to look at the emotions of the card. This person that we're going to be talking about is angry, very angry for whatever reason. Why is this? Oh yeah. They're arguing with somebody or they had an argument with somebody. They are, we're using the pyramid. I'm going with the pyramid spread, which I use a lot. Uh, I like it. Um, something in this argument, this, this disagreement, something was said that was shocking to this person that we, that this reading is about. Yes, it was shocking, like unbelievable, and it upset them. It upset them a lot. Yes, this person was that they were arguing with was a male, masculine. I guess an older gentleman. They, maybe, possibly. Whoever it was, they said some very hurtful things about 
a lover situation. Hmm. Oh, mercy. It's getting good. I'm going to tell you that. It's getting good. And I know I'm going to give me some comments saying we don't. We would rather look at you or whatever the case is. Well, we'll, we'll go back to that. This I'm just trying to... Uh, I'm trying to... It's hard to keep everybody happy. I'm going to tell you. It's just impossible. Hmm. This person is thinking about the argument that was, the argument that they had, and this could be a while back, it could be yesterday, it could be, could be coming up this weekend, who knows. But I think this is like a past argument that they had that this person's feelings got hurt really bad, broken hearted because of some things that were said. And it was about a person that they love. Possibly the person, they they didn't know that they hurt them that bad because, but they, they are in deep thought about that person they love. They are in deep thought. They think about them. Oh, yes, they, there's somebody studying, somebody studying, Holy Spirit, what are they studying? What, what is that about? See, studying something spiritual. They are studying something spiritual. What are they studying? Huh. Well. They are studying something spiritual, and it's a spiritual warrior. And she's, she's, she's hot. Oh, I like her. Yeah, hell yeah. Huh. She looks familiar, too. Yeah, she does. Look like somebody I, I used to know. Landed on top of the lovers. Definitely a spiritual warrior. So he got some friends involved. Some friends don't know what that's about yet, but we'll find. Oh yeah, uh oh. I believe some friends are trying to keep this person blinded by. Let's see what's next. Yep, these friends are keeping this person, whoever this reading is about, blinded, and they are concerned. They are concerned and in their emotions over it. They're not saying. Hmm. They're remembering things. Yes. Yes. They're in their emotions and they're remembering things. They're thinking about things. And it's when they were more like a teenager, when they were younger. And that person was a protector. They protected them in one way or another. And this fell on top of the spiritual warrior. This could be a spiritual warrior also. They could be spiritual warriors together. Or were together as spiritual warriors. Wow. Oh yeah, they daydreaming. They are like, oh yeah. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, hold up. Let me look at another card here. Oh, yes. Day daydreaming, and it's it's about the intimate part of of a relationship that they had because whew, it like rocked their world, but they wear a mask. They don't want nobody to know about it. Why? Well, they don't want anybody to know that they're daydreaming about this person that they, this, the love that they have for somebody, this person. 
thinking about and he's studying this spiritually and maybe they found out that they are a spiritual warrior and their friends discourage them because they want them to stay blinded they don't want them to find out about someone that they knew when they were younger and they were a protector, but and they were a spiritual team. These two were a spiritual team. I'm not saying here, I'm talking about they may be in the five deep. But maybe they were sent here as a spiritual team. And they wear a mask. They still wearing it. They still wearing that mask. Hmm. They pray in the not sure about what, but they praying. It landed on top of a, a thinking about times past when they were younger. They were teenagers, possibly. Yeah, I say teenager. It was when they were younger. It, it, it most likely was a teenager because this person protected them, looked after them, made sure that they were safe in some situations. And this person is praying about that. And they thinking about it. They, they are like, they are, they in their, they in their head about it. They laid back and they like, when their mind is not busy, it always drifts back to that. Yes. Yes, you see? They keep they, they they keep on and this right here is is it's like they they Yes. They they definitely And they wondering if if that person is thinking about them. That's what that is. They wondering these two cars t together like that. Oh, and time is a factor. This is on the bottom of the deck. Time is a factor. Um, we're going to go with the intuitive cab. Kipperish Oracle deck. Self love. Somebody. Self love came out. In the first deck. In the first deck, with my feelings, it was. This person was angry, and I mean like furious angry. And I don't, you know, and it's, the only thing I got out of the first deck, the My Feelings deck was, this person is very angry because they got in an argument, possibly something was said about somebody that they were in love with or in love. I think they are still in love with that person. And it hurt their feelings big time. It's like, wow. Can't believe you told me that. It's one of those situations. Self-love. And it's something to do with emotional pain. This person is in emotional pain. And they're praying about it. In the upright. All three of these cards are in the upright. They're praying about the emotional pain that they have. Yes, they want to heal from that. The they, they, emotional pain, they want a healer or someone was a healer that maybe could, could have alleviated the emotional pain. Let me see. Yes, they feel like 
they were in bondage, but they want this healer to help them out of bondage. That's what that there was a healer or there is a healer in this person's life and they want them to help them out of, yes. And they seek divination. They seek spiritual, they seek spiritual, I'm sorry, I didn't show y'all the other cards. The other, I should have, I'm, I apologize. Uh, but they are seeking divination, spiritual advice, spiritual guidance. One, eleven, eleven. check it out. They talking to their ancestors or are their ancestors. Uh oh, hold up. They were blocked. That's what a bondage is. The healer and the bondage together. They went to someone to read or to tell them what they should do. It's about an awakening. Their awakening was blocked. That's exactly what their ancestors or this person, this healer's ancestors, blocked this person's awakening. And our karma blocked it. Karma blocked it. Because they was going to abuse it. They were going to be a divination abuser. And there, there is some false narratives going on. <clears throat> uh oh false narratives from friends in the community they have some toxic friends and within those toxic friends is a karmic max masculine or they're a karmic masculine but I think it's I don't think it's them I think it's the way this is looking it landed right next to community which means friends or family family could be included in that Oh, yeah, there was a conflict. Oh, yes, there was a conflict. And this person wants to abandon that situation. That, that uh, because of the conflict, if you remember right on the My Feelings Oracle, it said that there was an argument or there was a, and it's the same thing is happening right here, conflict. This person got into a conflict with someone. Someone. They got into a round with friends involved and there's some false narratives, some lies that were, were said. I think about someone that they love. Perhaps they said false things about that person too and it's a mature woman there's a mature woman and that's who this reading is about it's not about the false narratives land right on top the mature woman land right on top and there's some expectations that are not met by their friends it landed on top of community if you if you notice expectation in reverse this mature woman had expectations and they landed on top of, of the friends. And they, friends in reverse means they're going to be uh, unfriending some people. I'm going to just say that. They, they're they going to be ghosting some of the friends or losing some of the friends they had because of something Whatever they were confused about and their illusions, yeah, whatever they were, it's in reverse. So they're not confused anymore. They're like, oh, no, I know now. Yes, it's about a relationship. Definitely about a relationship that, yes, indeed. And that conflict was about a relationship that they had with somebody that they love. That's what that was about. A karmic masculine had a conflict with the person that this reading is about. About a soulmate. Yes. 
a soulmate. It was in reverse. So, it's, it, it doesn't mean that they're not a soulmate. It means that they had a soulmate that they're they not there anymore. Or, or they're in separation of their soulmate. And that soulmate was a trusted person. They're trusted. Hmm. Third party. Hmm. Oh Lord. Divine masculine. At the bottom of the deck. Priest. Maybe they talk to a priest. Or they want to talk to a priest. I don't know. This deck. The graffiti deck. Graffiti. Has 220 cards in it. That's how thick this deck is. So it's almost impossible for me to do a popcorn shuffle or any kind of other shuffle with these cards. I do. I have shuffled the cards, split them up, and I shuffled them. And we'll, we're going to go from, from here. And this person has a secret life. They live a double life. Mm-hmm. They got secrets. They keep things hidden. Mm-mm. -hmm. They keeping things hidden. Maybe some of the things that they keeping hidden, the burdens that they have. I love this deck. 220 cards. Hmm. Maybe the burdens are because of indulgences that they partake in. And that is causing the burdens that they have, which is causing the secret, the secretive part of their life. And they believe that as things that are cursing them. But it's their bad decisions. And they know because they have regrets. This lands on top of burdens. Because of their bad decision, they're having burdens over that. Dirty money. Hmm. Dirty money means that, can mean, that they acquired money doesn't have to be through illegal means. It could be through dirty means, meaning that uh, they manipulated the situation and they got money from it, which would make it dirty money. It was ill. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, what what uh, Gomer Pyle on Gomer Pyle used to say: ill-gotten gains. It, it was gain through manipulation. That's what that could mean. Yolo. Yeah, YOLO. Okay, YOLO. YOLO. You only live once. That's what that means, YOLO. You only live once. And that's what got them in, in the situation that they're in right now. They feel like they're, they're cursed, but it's because of their own decisions that this is happening. And part of it is because of karma, because of what they've gotten from ill-gotten gains with money. It's it's like a cycle that this person is in. Oh, and they are salty. They not happy. But they can blame it on themselves. I don't understand it. Bitter, they angry, angry, jealous, and resentful of what? That's what I would know. They're deceitful. They lie. That's all part of the manip manipulation process. That's all part of it. They don't tell the, the truth. They don't tell the whole truth for sure. Yes. They're deceitful about choices that they make. Very base card. The base card in this pyramid is secret life. And 
And their choices are causing them a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. Hmm. Whoever this is has an insatiable appetite. They just never have enough. You can't do enough for this person. Ever. It's impossible to satisfy them. Yes. It is impossible to satisfy them. Hmm. And this person will switch it up on you. They will switch it up and make as if they're not enough. Hmm. Evidence. What is the evidence about Holy Spirit? What is the evidence? Ancestors. Ancestors. There's a divine calling. Oh, yeah. Shoot. And they feel disconnected. I see where this is going. Okay. Okay. They want to take action. On this, on this row right here, they, they have evidence that their ancestors, through a download, provided that they have a divine calling. But they disconnect from it. They disconnected from it. And now they want to take action to gain that, that divine calling back. They want it back. I see what's going on. Oh, shoot. And they had flames. They had flings. Don't do no flinging. Oh no. Destructive forces. Well, that's what flings will do. Flings will destroy you. Flings will destroy you. Hmm. Yep, infatuation. It was just sex. It was just love, uh, lust. There was nothing more than that. Uh -uh. Yes. Hmm, infatuation. With all of that, they followed the crowd. They was like a sheep following the crowd. They didn't make their own choices. They say they did, but they didn't make their own choices. They just followed the crowd. The choice with them was, I'm going to do what everybody else is doing. And they have a fake friend. Or they were a fake friend. Either one. I think that's what it was. I think they were a fake friend because it... Down here on the on the third row, they it has dirty money and obviously they did that to somebody, which it makes them and they got in so deep that in too deep. They they felt like there was no way out. No way out of a love affair. They got into something that they couldn't get out of. And that love affair was toxic. Yes, indeed. It was a toxic. Damn. Ooh, what the world. Whoever you was involved with was lazy. Couch potato. Didn't want to go to work. Lord have mercy. It, it was nothing but disappointments. <laughs> uh uh. Unfulfilled and unsatisfied in all areas. If you get my drift. If you know where I'm going with this. Oh yeah. What a. 
And they were milking this person dry. They were taken from them. Mm -mm. And they were controlling, or they tried to be. They were controlling. I think they were really controlling. And this person felt betrayed. Big time. Big time. Let's, I'm going to do another row. This person... They want to cut ties with this love affair. They want to cut the ties because they are crunk. A crunk. Oh, uh-uh. Crazy. They like, oh, uh-uh. Go overboard with everything. They like just do too much of everything. They party too much. They drink too much. And then they want to fight. they cold-blooded. Whoever this, this is, this person, not the person that the reading. Maybe so. They may be both cold-blooded. Man. This person or the person that we're talking about, the, the, the person that this reading is about, or their person is bougie. They're like, they think they're all that. Fancy pants. Yeah. Superficial. Yeah, they think they're all that. They got to have the nicest purse, nicest whatever, but they're a spiritual charlatan. Yep. Spiritual charlatan. And they got some mental health issues. The person, either this person that this is going to resonate with or their person that that they want to get away from is, has mental health issues. Oh, Lord. Mm. Checkmate. Possibly, this person that this is going to resonate has already put them in a checkmate position, meaning that they're going to move on. They, they like got enough of that. Oh, I see checkmate, and they longing for somebody else. They want somebody else. Yeah, because they want to get rid of They want to cut ties with this crunk, cold-blooded, bougie asshole. That's what that is, lazy. Yes. They're longing for somebody else. Oh, yeah, look at that boy. He, oh, damn it, he got him hemmed up on the island. See that right there? It looked like Pecone Island, not far from the house. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, this person may have a criminal record that they was involved with. But we're going to put that right here with good. And... Mm -mm -mm. Lord have mercy. Mm -mm. My goodness. Yes, indeed. Oh. I'm going to shuffle my tire real quick and we'll do a tire read. King of Pentacles in the upright. Somebody different right here. Could be because it's it's non it's it's not gender. And it's in the the sign of Taurus. So this is a grounded person. 
somebody that is secure, that is stable, mm -hmm. prosperous, that is, um, they don't take risk. They don't gamble. They only put their money into sure things. Hmm. It doesn't have to be a Taurus. But this is the King of Pentacles. If it's not a Taurus, there is a Taurus involved in this in this reading. Mm hmm Death in reverse. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, somebody that is dealing with somebody that don't want to change, they will not change. That's what that card is. It's it's not it's not gonna happen. They will not change. Not the king, not not the king of pentacles. The person that they're dealing with will not change. They are resistant to change. They just will not. And I mean, so tell me about this. Yes. Mm. They need the king of pentacles. Whoever this is needs the king of pentacles because they are in a financial situation that is not good. Again, a Taurus. A Taurus. This is a... Hmm. Taurus energy is dominant in this reading. Dominant. They feel trapped. Whoever this person is feels trapped. They can't get out of a situation that they're in. They have no direction on how to get out of that situation. They don't know what to do. And they're at an impasse. Oh, I'm sorry. I should, I, I should be showing y'all the cards. I'm sorry. Hangman in the upright. Two of swords in the upright. They at an impasse. They they gotta make some choices, but they don't want to because they don't. They refuse to change. They will not do what's necessary to fix whatever problems they have, and they're trying to find the strength to to fix those problems. They are trying to find the strength. Yes. It's. Mm, 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 mm. Because of. This is the magician in reverse. Because of. Deceit. Because of illusions. Because of. Oh. They just. They not they're not gonna change. They're not gonna change. They feel trapped, and it's because of that. And it they 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 living in an illusion. Like they don't want to face reality. They don't want to face like, you know. I know I gotta do this to get this outcome, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Something to do with an inheritance or an unexpected income. Hmm. There you see. And if it fell on top of Hangman and the Two of Swords.
See, this two of swords could be a relationship. They could be torn between two relationships. It could be that they just, you know. And it doesn't have to be. I'm talking about it could be like friendships. And their loyalties are divided. They, they, they. Personally, I don't. And then this falls on top. Ten of Pentacles. And then they, they feel battle weary. They, they like. They, they constantly in. They, there's a fight continuously. Continuously. The nine of wands. This is like it don't stop. Sagittarius energy. It just don't stop. And because of that, they're feeling grief, pain. Their emotions are... are hmm. Yes. Ace of Cups in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse. Lovers in, in upright on top of illusions, on top of magician in reverse. And that, that's all illusion. That this the person that they thought they loved was nothing but an illusion. And they're finding that out now. This, oh, I see it now. The person that, the illusion was about the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, and if they found out that there was no Ten of Pentacles, it's not, there's not a Ten of Pentacles. It was an illusion. And they got into some arguments. They got into some battles over it. And they, they, they learn from it. They obviously they feel fatigued and exhausted. And the ace of cups in reverse is now they feel pain. They feel regret, grief because of of, of what happened here. And that that's what this is. The lovers on top of yep, yeah, things that things are coming out. The sun in the upright. Things are gonna be exposed. Either about this person that this is talking about or their person. This, the King of Pentacles down here is not about this. That is not about that. This person, they need, whoever this is, needs that King of Pentacles. That cat has got... He got the pinnacles that they need to help them. They thought that this person had the had the ten the, the ten of pinnacles. They they thought that they the ones that had the bag, but they don't. It was all an illusion, all a lie. Unbelievable. The emperor. You see what I'm saying? Oh yes, the emperor in yes. They want to go back. All of this is going to come to light because of the sun. And they want to go back to the emperor. Yes. They're accepting. Yes. Mm -hmm. The eight of cups. In reverse. They're accepting their destiny. Now they know. They know. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Unbelievable. Five of Cups. They know they done. Mm. If the, they, they know that they just like, damn, how did I? They feel like a failure. The Five of Swords. Yes. They feel like a failure. Mm -mm -mm. Ten, ten of swords. They feel like they took ten swords to the back because of this lover that they got with. 
that this person told them nothing but illusions and lies and they lost the emperor in this situation. The emperor is not, they want to move back towards the emperor. That's what this is about. The Eight of Cups is wanting to go back to that. They're accepting their destiny. And they're like, okay, I, I, I accept what's what, and I want to go back. I feel the loss. I feel your pain. I want to go back. Yes. See, Two of Cups in reverse. They want to disconnect from whoever this is. They want to disconnect. Or they feel disconnected from the Emperor. They want to offer the Cup to the Emperor. But they feel disconnected. Maybe they blocked or uh, not in contact. They, there's no communication between them. Maybe it hasn't, hasn't been for a long time. One, two, three. Three months, three years. One, two, three. This communication could be up to three years. Maybe more. Maybe a little more than that. Oh, yeah. See? They're broken hearted in the upright. Or they broke the emperor's heart because it landed on top of the emperor. Yeah. They broke the emperor's heart. Because they took up with a lover that was an illusionist. This dude was a freaking a magician. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Three of cups in reverse. They took up with a third party and they overindulged in everything. Everything that you can think of, they overindulged in it. If they went out, they went out way too much. They and and they hurt whoever the emperor is in this reading. They crushed him. They will they put three swords in there in his heart. Three signifies third party. Three of cups, same thing. Oh, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Nine of Pentacles. Yes. They're too worried about materialism. And they're not worried about the, the things that matter. And they left the emperor, which it was all four kings combined... And they went after materialism, which is this card right here, the Ten of Pentacles. And they didn't find it because it was all a lie. It was all an illusion. And mm -mm -mm. unbelievable. Let's see what's on the bottom. Oh, I don't know who this is talking. Queen of Pen uh, Queen of Swords, reverse. Mean bitch, mean bitch. It's a husband right here. Malicious, rude. Mm -hmm. I would put her ass in a place real quick. Wouldn't take me but a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Pessimistic. They lack empathy, meaning they don't care. That's exactly what that means. They do not care. They do not care that they hurt you. They do not care about your feelings at all. The only thing that matters to the Queen of Swords is themselves. Let's let's turn this, this away for now. We finish with the reading for right now. And we're gonna go on to a uh let's see. And I got, I got a, a few. I have a, a dream that somebody sent me. Uh, Jesus first sent me the dream. And uh, wanted to know if I could interpret it. Or, or I, I'm assuming they sent it to me so I can interpret the dream. Uh, and the dream, in, in, they were at a lake. And they had... Uh, they were holding two dogs. And uh, in the dream, they, there was a snake 
that was camouflage, had camouflage colors that they, they seen and, and oh and they had a baby also. Two dogs and a baby. They found a baby on on the shore of the, the lake. And there was a a uh, I'm assuming that they looked for the mother of the baby, couldn't find it. But anyway, they went on and they there was a cobra that was showing its fangs. And the next part of the dream, I'm assuming this was a totally different dream that they had. Like two dreams they sent, and they, they must have happened back to back. Maybe the same night or, or the next night. And this dream, they were on a bus, and a man that was in camouflage BDUs, uh, they were, were talking to the man, to the person. And they were discussing a strategy and um, they were planning something. And um, the person that Jesus first got off of the bus. They were on this, I guess, like a city bus. So in this dream, I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and, and say in this dream, a lake, the body of a lake. means that uh, whatever troubles you have, because it's, it's water. So water is emotions. And uh, whatever emotions you have or whatever troubles you have is going to be contained. It's in a lake, so it's contained. It's, it's not in the open ocean or it's not a river that continually runs down into an ocean or a gulf. Um... The two dogs that you hold, when it comes to that, uh, can ex it, two dogs can express a couple of things. It can express self-expression, kind of like a show-off. You know, be like me running around with Harley and Levi, my poodles, and I'm, I'm like I go to Walmart, I bring them with me. I never do that, not ever. I do not do that. I do not bring my dogs with me. They stay home. They like it at home, but uh, and it, the, the dog dogs can also mean in a dream friends, actual friends. It, it can also signify that. Um, in this application, it can. Uh, the baby that you find, it, a baby can mean. A new beginning. A baby can uh, something new. You know, I mean, that's, and that's pretty obvious. It, it, it finding a baby, it uh, can mean you need to use moderation when when you find something that means you you need to whatever it is doesn't matter what it is a baby or whatever the case if you find a pot of gold. You need to use moderation with that, whatever you discover. So in this case, it would be a baby. You find a baby, you need moderation. You need to use moderation with that beginning or start of something. The large snake in this, there was a large snake that was camouflage. Uh, a snake can represent being cold, snakes are cold-blooded creatures, so it, it can it can represent meaning something like you cold. You are cold. You you could be a cold individual, or that within that dream, or within something that's going on in your mind, you feel like you you want to be cold about it. The camouflage colors of that snake means you want to mask that emotion. You want to wear a mask. You don't want nobody to know that. Your ass is cold as ice when it comes to that. So you kind of keep that hid. That's what that means. The cobra showing his fangs. And you can look at the fangs on a cobra as swords. Swords are words. It's what you what you say. Uh, and your words can, can be very, very poisonous. Like big time. 
Like you can hurt somebody just with your words. I can. I make you cry. Uh, with that, in this dream, they took the, the baby and the two dogs in one arm and they had a large stick in the other arm and they stuck the stick in the mouth of the cobra where the fangs was exposed. And what that is, is that you're stopping yourself from, from saying things that obviously would hurt someone. Whatever the case is, whatever this is that your dream is about, I don't know what's going on, but outwardly on the outside in, in, in your awakened state, there's something that's bothering you that you may want to say, but you don't say because you don't want to hurt somebody. But you feel like you need to say it, but you're not saying it. The other, the other dream you have, dreaming of a man. Anytime you dream of, if a, if a woman dreams, whatever the case is, opposite sex. If a man dreams of a woman, it could mean that they want to assert themselves. And, and it depends on, like I said, the, the application of the dream. But if you dream of a woman, of a man, if a woman dreams of a man, she wants to assert herself. She wants to be assertive. And with the BDUs, it's camouflage again. That it's like you want to stay hidden. You want your assertiveness to stay hidden. You don't want to outwardly show that. So I'm, I don't know enough about you to, to know, you know, like if you're married or whatever the case is, I don't know about all that, but whatever your assertiveness in whatever direction we're talking about, you keep it low. You don't, you don't want to, in your dream, that's what it is. In real life, in, in the awake state of mind, you don't show that. I'm not saying you're shy, but you, you're not a very assertive towards a uh, whatever the case is and this could be incorporated with your other dream this could also it be a continuation your ancestors could be trying to get a message undoubtedly this is a message it is a message uh, and you said something about that, that y'all, the, the, there was a strategy in the dream. There was a strategy with the man on the bus. And that, that right there is indicative to say that, well, that strategy is something that you want to say, but you're not. You're strategizing. There's something that you, you don't want to, hmm. And in the, in the planning of it, it, because you said that, you know, you was planning. In the, in the planning of it, and right after the planning of it, you exit the bus, you get off the bus. That right there tells me in the dream and the interpretation of that dream is that you exit that. You, you, you in your opinion, the strategy that y'all came up with or the strategy that you came up with it's not going to work. So you exit that. You're like, no, I'm not doing that. So, Jesus, first, I hope that answers your, your dream or it's satisfactory to, to it. Uh, uh, let's see. Hmm. What do you believe? This is from Debbie. U-Q-5-O-E. Hmm. What do you believe is the difference in any, if any, an earth angel and a fallen angel? That's a, a lot of differences. Depends on what we're talking about. If we're talking about a an earth angel, spiritual being, earth angel. Me. Earth angel. Possibly you, Earth Angel. Uh, 
there are fallen angels that Archangel Michael and and God sent eviction notices from heaven. They had to go. They won the war. They sent them to earth. Those fallen angels became demons. They they are demonic. They are minions of Satan. They do his bidding. Earth angels, on the other hand, are are earthly beings that are spiritual, like me. And if I turn toxic or karmic, both are the same, uh, then I, I'm, I'm a lost earth angel. I have drifted from the path, and I am a lost angel, earth angel. I am a converted spiritual warrior. It means I went over to the other side. Uh, so that is the major difference with that. But they do have, we do have earth angels that have fallen. They are no longer earth angels in the sense of, of spiritual earth angels to help people. They have been stripped of their gifts. Uh, honest with you, they, they, there is, they have zero intuition. They, they have no gut feeling. Their dreams are toxic. They, they don't have spiritual dreams. It's just impossible. They can't because they're not, they not, they can get back on track if they want, but they got to change everything that they doing, everything that, that, uh, and, and try to find their way back. And they're going to need help. Lester on Messenger. Why don't you use your gifts to gain financially? <laughs> what makes you think I don't? I'm just saying. Actually, I don't. But I just figured I would throw that in. Can your cards predict market conditions? Weather. Can it predict weather conditions? Can you heal yourself? Because I said I'm a healer. That's what he asked. Whew, I got a few questions in there. Let's let's start with the first one. Why don't you use your gifts to gain financially? Can't do that. No. No. That that goes totally against the spiritual laws. You don't do that. Nah. One. The love of money, the love of money is the, the root of all evil. Never forget that Judas, the Judas syndrome, you know, he he betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Uh, so, no, I, I would never do that. And I am financially okay. Anything I gain extreme financially, I most of the time give it away. I, it's not about, for me, money is, it's all staying here. Everything is going to stay here. I take nothing with me except the knowledge I have and my spirit will live on. And I'll come back. This time I, I, I'm hoping that God gives me a a little piece of heaven, a little piece of paradise just to retire for a while. You know, but he probably won't. He like, no, you got, you have a mission, boy. Can you, can your cards predict market conditions? <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. And the temptation of it is the worst part of it. When you have gifts, it's your, it's, that's, that's what's wrong with, that's what makes you evil. That's what makes you toxic and karmic. That's why Satan is Satan because he wasn't satisfied with what he had. He wanted more. He couldn't, he couldn't deal with the temptation. And we have to learn to control that. So, it is what it is. But no, I, I, 
you know, and I say no, I, I, I don't, I wouldn't. I'm not ever going to do that. And I do well financially in the market. I have. I have done. I'm doing really well right now. I got one that's like smoking hot. Um, um, no, I don't. Why would I need to predict the weather with my cars? I got the TV right there. I got a big old TV. Look, big old TV right there. See that? Weatherman comes on. Rob Perillo. He's our weatherman. Yeah. I got, I pay for a weather app on my phone because I'm a boat cat. The weather channel. Yeah. Don't need all that. Don't need no cars to predict the weather. I can look outside. You got to buy about a house. When the water's high in that bottom, that means in three days it's going to rain. I can guarantee you that. That's my, that's my, that's my rain predictor. Three days, it's going to rain. Oh, uh, can you heal yourself? Uh, yeah, I mean, I get a headache. If I have a headache, I take an aspirin. <laughs> you know, get upset, stomach, take it out yourself. Yeah, I heal myself. Yeah. But tell you this much. I, I can tell you a story. I have a friend of mine named Lisa. She called me up one time. She says, you're a healer. You're a traitor. That's what we call that in South Louisiana. Traitor. You're a traitor. I said, I, I can do something. Yeah, I can. But what you, what you got? And for a lady, that's, you know, once I explain you what I said, uh, she said, I got a wart and I can't get rid of it. Uh, can you, like, treat for what? I so said, the problem with that is that some healers can't. Some healers treat, and they treat from a distance, and whatever the case is. Some, they have to be there to treat. Them three thirds. They do it for different things. Sunstroke, fever, different things. The problem with that is, with me, is whatever I treat for, I get. It comes to me. I can't get, you know, I have to, I have to use my own means to, got to go to a dermatologist, whatever the case is. And she would, she would testify to this. I said, yeah, I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll talk to, I'll talk to God and, and I'll take it. I said, in five to seven days, it's going to disappear. And I know it's hard to believe. But I think within a five-day period, maybe a little sooner than that, within a five-day period, her work was gone. And on this finger right here, for uh, most of my videos, I had a Band-Aid on this finger. And that was because I had a wart that I had to keep cutting off and treating. Not because I could, I was a 32 and I could treat it myself. I had to use means to treat it. Yeah, on this finger right here, that's the way it was. I, I took her wart and it was with me for months. Until I could, I could get rid of it. Of course, it's gone now, but yes. No, I don't guess I can treat myself. Not the way in the terms of you saying, spiritually, I can treat myself. I pray. God helps me. And I get by. I heal myself spiritually. Physically, uh, when it comes to that, I do just like you do, Lester. I go to a doctor. I got diabetes. I go to a doctor. They... They prescribe me medication and I take it. Uh, I'm not Jesus. I can't raise the dead and I can't do the things that he did. There's some things that I can, but some most I, I would never even get come close to him. I can tell you that. So, that being said, you stay close to God. Lest I hope, and Debbie, I hope I answered y'all questions. Uh, I, uh, I do have more questions. I have to, uh, I have to read them and I have to uh, take them off the off the comments and write them down. Uh, Miss Tammy's gonna help me. She, I think she's gonna figure out a way to take it and make a be able to print it on my printer from either my laptop or from the my phone. She gonna, I think she's gonna figure it out. 
she, she's like a brainstorm when it comes to computers and stuff like that. So, uh, but anyway, I, uh, I don't think I have any more. Yeah, I do have some more, but not, not on my pad. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed the reading. A little different. I'll get by. I'm a, I know y'all like to see me. <laughs> yeah, I know y'all like to see me. <laughs> that beautiful smile I have with my Chinese hat there. That's not a Chinese hat, neither. Gina's going to get teed off if y'all call that a Chinese hat. That's a Hawaiian hat. She from Hawaii, poor thing. Yeah. <laughs> and I love her to death. Her and her, her nice husband. Yeah, her husband. Shannon. Anyway, uh, I love y'all. Y'all stay close to God. He misses you. I miss you all the time. Thank you again for my subscribers, all of those that like my stuff, that comment. You cannot imagine how much I appreciate it. I, I really do. I update my description, so when you have time, read it, check it out. I put some disclaimers in there, too. Now, I'm not no, I, I don't even have to repeat that no more. It's all on there. See? Miss Tamma had no idea. Yeah, she's like, put it in there, boy. Let me show you. Anyway, I love y'all. Peace out.